Hi, this is Kendra from Pencil and Pigment, and it's Tuesday, which means we're doing art around the world, and it's the month of March, which means we're doing Nigeria, and there is an extra Tuesday this month, which means I am covering an extra topic, which is architecture. So get ready, this is going to be a wild ride. So the first one I want to talk about is the Kana City Walls. Now these were built from 1095 to 1134 and they were completed in the middle of the 14th century. And I have some other pictures. I have a lot of pictures for this video. So <laughs> if you're visual like me, then I hope, I hope you enjoy it. So let's get this all situated here. Now in it, these walls are made of an earthen material, which is made of combining a mixture of gravel, sand, silt, clay, in between flat panels that um, press this into shape and into layers. So these walls were built for defense purposes and they were further expanded in the 16th century. So the walls originally measured about 30 to 50 feet in length and had a 40 foot base. There were 15 gates and it had a 14 kilometer radius. Now it is considered one of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites and has been in restoration, repair, and sort of preservation mode for almost a decade now. So they are working on repairing these walls because they are made of silt and gravel and things and have kind of been encroached upon by building. But I think these walls are absolutely incredible. I absolutely love them. All right, you ready for the next one? Okay. <laughs> this, this I filled out a hole trying to do research. There isn't a lot of information on certain architectural things and you're gonna find out why as we go further. So this one, <clears throat> and I need to sort of explain Nigeria a little bit. Nigeria is made up of 36 states and Kudna State is one of them. It's sort of the eighth largest and it's located in the northern central region of the country. And within that state, there is a city called Zaria Emirate and it's also called Zazao. And in the 1450s, Islam arrived and trade flourished. And so, <laughs> welcome to Zazao. I will link YouTube videos if you want to see about this city. It is absolutely fascinating. Absolutely. Um, I found a news report. If you like watching news from around the world out of curiosity, I found a news report in regards to this from 2020. This is absolutely interesting. So <clears throat> the ruler there is called the, um, let's see. I lost where I was. Um, he's called the Emir. So he's the Emir of Zazao and it is used to be an absolute monarchy. And as of the 20th century, it's, it's not anymore, but this is the gate to the palace and it is constructed entirely out of mud and was believed to be built in 1536. So this is how you get to the palace. There is not a lot of information about this gate. There is a lot of oral history that people have transcribed since the 20th century to sort of put it all down, but it's sparse. But this is absolutely gorgeous. I can't, it's so beautiful. Okay, the next one I wanna talk about, this one is, <laughs> Oh, this one doesn't have a lot of information either, and I'm going to explain why. So, <laughs> I need to stop laughing. Okay, so this next one is, yeah, okay. This is called the Ship House, and this building was originally built for the Nigerian Port Ports Authority. And as you can see, it's shaped like a boat. So, <laughs> this building was then... Um, at the time it was designed by James Sterling, an architect from 1969 to 1972. There isn't a lot of other information and I'm gonna tell you why. So at some point, this uh, building was transferred to the military of defense. So now this ship houses the Nigerian army, the air force, the navy, and other defense agencies. It's located in Abuja uh, within the federal capital territory 
and this city has amazing architecture. Um, I'll link, I'll, I'll link about this city because it is so fascinating. One of the wildest things in this city, I want to show you real quick because it makes me laugh. Let's see here. Here it is. This gentleman designed this house for his wife, put an airplane in it because she loves to travel. <laughs> okay, I just had to show you. I'll link articles to this if you want to see more photos. Oh, I can't. It's amazing. Okay, the next place I want to talk about is right here. This is the Abuja National Mosque and it's also known as the Nigerian National Mosque. Now, it is also located in Abuja. They have a lot of fun buildings there. Um, it was built in 1984. It is open to the public, except during the congressional prayers. And it has a library and a conference room that can seat 500 people. Um, I wanna show you some other elements for my calligraphy lovers. Here is up one of the walls. Here is Arabic calligraphy that goes all the way to the top. And I just think that is beautiful. And here is the entrance. Whoop. Let me get that correct. That is the entrance to the mosque with the huge gold doors. And it's just stunning. And I just think it's really cool that if you're traveling, you can go inside and you can tour this. I love that it's open to the public. I love things like that. Um, the last thing I kind of want to talk about in depth, and it's for a multitude of reasons. So this right here, and I won't say it failed. I'll say that this is a work in progress with tons of potential. And this is the Mako, Mikoko Floating School in Lagos. And Lagos is the largest city in Nigeria in Lagos State. and it's important to know that this is a port city and it's built on a series of islands and sort of surrounding land on the west coast. So Lagos is actually Portuguese for lakes and the children of this area only had access to a primary school that kept flooding. So in 2013, a Nigerian architect named Kunle Adenam wanted to sort of transform this area he didn't care for, <clears throat> this waterfront that was flooding and having issues, it, community to sort of a floating island. So here is another view of it. So you can see both. It's an A-frame here. Um, this school was sort of an attractive community. Okay, hold on. Um, it's an alternative sustainability building. So the structure was designed to adapt to the community because of its aquatic lifestyle. A lot of folks who live here boat around to do all their things. Like they live on boats and a, f a floating school isn't weird for them. What I love about this is what they tried. They tried to build a building to the people not a building that would just look cool for looking cool's sake. This building had a function of appealing to the people of the area. Now, this was built um, with uh, local lumber, bamboo. They had um, an application for solar cells on the roof. There were rainwater, um, like catching system. There was composting toilets. Um, it also doubled at a, as a communal center um, outside of school hours. There was a bunch of sustainable things made into this. Now, unfortunately, um, three years after being built, a huge heavy rainstorm came through and collapsed it. Now, I love that they tried to include as many environmentally conscientious things into this sort of building idea. Now this design and this idea won a ton of awards. And since then, they have um, designed sort of updated versions with better prototypes, and those have been won with lots of awards. So as of 2018, they're on their sort of third prototype for rebuilding this school, because while it was up, it was very successful for the students. It was like a playground area, and then they were on the second store learning, and I just think 
that is absolutely phenomenal. Everything about this appeals to me <laughs> on some level, and I really hope, you know, I wish them the best of luck with their third iteration. The last quick thing I want to show you is another house in this area. <laughs> this is the elephant house. This is somebody's home. I absolutely love this. This is also in Lagos. Anyway, this is some architecture of Nigeria. I really hope you enjoyed this video. There is so much going on. I will link videos. I will link articles. If you are interested in traveling or just want to see really cool buildings from around the world, Nigeria has some awesome ones. Um, I hope <laughs> my computer isn't flagged for trying to search the Ministry of Defense Nigeria. I apologize but the ship house is cool. Okay, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.